It's NAB 2022. And 2023. what? 2023. Get out. Did I they miss the whole year? It. They changed it. I missed the whole year? Yeah. It happens to the best of us. All right. Our big announcement for this year is uh, the Dante AV uh, video system. So what we've done is that we've seen that there's been a need in the marketplace to um, have video products added to your Dante networks. Right. So uh, what we've decided to do is go big in the sense that we're using a JPEG 2000 codec. Right. which is the same codec that you'll use in DCP. So it's a very high quality image. And the beauty of this device and the Dante network itself is that it does the audio and video sync through its network. Right. And also that it's very low latency, ultra low latency, less than a frame. So you can count on it being in sync. So for different use cases that we can get into in a bit. But we're really excited to have this product come out on the market. It's uh, $24.95. It's going to be available to ship in the end of April. Mm. And uh, a key feature of this is that, which sets it apart from other units, is that we have 12G SDI as an input source on this, which is the only one on the market that does that. Oh, wow. So it takes a high quality 12G signal and converts it to another high quality signal type and then sends it through a Dante network. And you can see here, this is just how easy it is to go to send signals. So you don't need a giant patch bay or a switcher. You literally do everything with these checkboxes here to send your video and audio signals. So you could have embedded audio in here and then virtually disembed it and send it to a different device. Awesome. And so how does that sync for, I'm a cinematographer, so I'm not you know, super well versed, but how does that sync differ from standard time code? So it's important to have the synchronization happen because, for example, you're at a concert and there's people on stage and then you have the video wall of the person singing. And so if, if the sync is off, you're going to see the person on the stage do something and then a second or two later... I've seen that before, yeah. Exactly. So with a, with a high quality signal and it's high quality device like this one, it eliminates that sync issue because we're using the Dante network in the high quality switch to make sure that the signal goes through without any kind of loss of packets or any kind of timing issues. So the big advantage to Dante, we kind of said it off camera, but um, sure. when we were talking to sound devices, they mentioned it too, is that I guess this type of thing hasn't gone through ethernet before, which allows for the, the lower latency. Well, there's other Ethernet options that are out there. So NDI is one of them. And, uh, but, but the Dante one, it just ties so well with the established audio infrastructure that a lot of people are using. And it's just like a great addition. So it's like an upgrade to a car. You know, the car is working great, but then you add this other feature to it and then you're like putting wings on it and flying right. to outer space. Turbocharging your Civic. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, it's better than this. Nicer than a Civic, yeah. Turbocharging a, well, a No, a, a Civic's a not a bad car. I mean, it's a reliable car. I, I drove a Civic for years, and they were great. These it, are nicer than Civics. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice add-on. Yeah. It, it's, it's like the lowering it and adding the spoiler, you know, that kind of a thing. Yeah. NOS, yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, 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 exactly. And so you've got uh, the other inputs on here, HDMI, of course, uh, your SDI in. Yes. And, and out. Yeah, well, no, that's not SDI. So these, oh, are, reference these, these are pairs of devices. So we'll have a transmitter and a receiver. So the transmitter will take the signal in, the SDI signal and the HDMI signal in, put it into the Dante network, and then you'll have a receiver on the other side of it. Gotcha. So it's, 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 a, it's kind of conceptually, the best way to look at it is look at like these workflow diagrams in a sense, because there's so much flexibility with the system is that you can, you have this Dante network as your hub, as your heart of it, and then you can send Dante-enabled audio devices and video devices across the same network. Right. For example, here, in this one area, in your meeting room, you can have a presenter camera sending the signal into the Dante network. At the same time, you have the signal coming out into the receiver going to a projector. Right. And that's why the latency is such a, a key thing to keep track and of. And that's like the concert example. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Which is, 
this, this is a, a simpler kind of a workflow with fewer devices and then we get into a medium house of worship or it could be a concert where you have off, off, uh, off site or side screens or overflow screens. Right. And so all of that can be done with ethernet cables instead of running SDI cables. Sure. So you send your uh, signal through the Dante network into the receiver and then you have your camera capture going into the network going to the switch where you're doing your switching. And there's also a, a great, there's over 3,500 partners that are making wow. Dante audio products. And so there's, there's microphones, there's stage boxes, there's speakers, there's amplifiers. So it's, it's a really a, flexible system over like. Ex extremely, <laughs> it's, it's, it's extremely flexible. And a lot of that has to do with the controller is that you, you can send signals from place to place just with this interface. Right, and is this software, because this isn't, uh, we've seen a lot of web apps, but this is software built into the, uh, the, into the PC. If this built is, into the, it's, you install it's, it on the it, PC. Yeah, yeah, okay. it's downloadable software, Mac and PC, cross-platform. Oh, excellent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, it looks simple enough, I could run this, and I'm a monkey. So, <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's literally Oh, like, I actually, I didn't even notice this. I actually do really enjoy the, uh, um, layout here where you've got the transmitters vertically here right and then check okay that's very cool yeah yeah uh, so I'll, i should explain what i'm talking about sure but we'll get some b-roll of it so you've got all your transmitters up here vertically which you know you might have to do a little bit of that but um you know it's like an excel sheet yes and so you're able to just click which things you want activated and sent where that's very intuitive yeah exactly and the, you can rename all of these different inputs that you have going into this virtual switch, so it's easy to keep track of it. Like here's the, here's the receive uh, device, the transmit, and so on. So it's easy to um, manage everything visually with this, and then seeing the, how like the spreadsheet function that you were just talking yeah, about. Right here, again, I don't know anything about this, so I'm just noticing as it happens, but you're, you're deciding who leads, which device is the primary time code, basically. Uh, primary, primary um, I guess it's closer to Genlock almost, but. Exactly, yeah, so that's, that's part of the Dante uh, network is that you, uh, it picks the lead clock and everything else clocks to that. And so that's an important feature of having the, the timing and the sync is that you have a, a unified device that generates that sync for everything else in that network. Awesome. The master clock or leader clock, yeah. Right, and that can be any device? Yes, well it's any Dante device, so any Dante device can be a master. Okay, cool. Yeah. I'm glad I ran into you at the end of the day because we'd been hearing about Dante a couple times and I was like, I don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> so this yeah. is great to actually have here. Yeah, see. it's it's really easy to uh, deploy because it's it's ethernet based, so you have your, your, you know, your ethernet cables instead of your SDI cables or XLR right. cables, and then you add your, your switches in to, to route the signals to allow that signal routing through here. Right. Really cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's these, uh, you know, we have the legendary build quality from AGA. Yeah. We have a great reputation for our, these are guaranteed for five years. And then we also have uh, support uh, based in Northern California to answer people's questions and, yeah. and provide that, um, you know, back, you know, backstop or that support. Right. You know when they when when anything would come up. You know with a, with a new product. You know there's lots of questions uh, about it, and yeah. they uh, people can definitely go to our website for more information about it. But there's also resources about Dante and Dante AV and and on their website as well. They've been really great partners for us. Excellent. Yeah. Because yeah, I mean obviously we know you guys from the converters and switches and, and all that kind of thing in the SDI kind of world, right? Um, video world. So it's cool to see you get into, into audio like that. Yeah, and, and we've, we've had our toe in this pond in a sense. We have an open gear card that does SDI disembedding and embedding uh, to and from Dante. Yeah, cameraman Adam was uh, just looking at that. He was very excited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so this is this is like a natural progression is is that, you know, we've been dealing with the audio for quite a while and, and there's definitely a need for this in, in a lot of places and that was, <laughs> I'll tell a funny story if I have a second. Yeah, yeah, sure. I was getting my hair cut and the guy uh, next to me in the chair in Burbank, you know, Burbank is yeah. post-production. I live in West LA, so yeah. Yeah, so, so he, I was saying, oh, I'm going to NAMM and we started talking and, and he was like, yeah, I'm in my 
post finishing facility, he's running Dante, and he was looking for a way to drive picture with his Dante network. And I'm like, well, hmm, <laughs> uh, I just happen to know something about that. You know what's funny is I have, they're handshake deals, but they've always worked. I've done probably four that have turned into real good gigs in, at my barbershop. So there's magic at the barbershop. There you go. <laughs> if you learn anything else at this NAB, talk to, to people, barbershop. Barber yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, thanks so much for running me through this, man. This is very, very cool.